Stage one's an entry burn. You've heard the call out, stage one's an entry burn. You can see two of the titanium grid fins back illuminated by the burn from the three Merlin 1D engines. Stage one, entry burn shutdown. Shutdown of the entry burn. We're at six minutes and 15 seconds. In about 30 seconds, we're gonna have the landing burn. Now as a reminder, Stage one the weather FDS has and the sea conditions are fairly rough. They're the worst that we've ever had for trying to get a first stage back on the drone ship. So it's going to be a little bit uh, iffy here this morning. Meanwhile, second stage continues to be on trajectory, performance looking good. Now when we light the engine, we'll be down to about 650 miles an hour, and then in 30 seconds, Stage one's transonic. we will be landing. Stage one landing burn startup. Waiting for the downlink from the drone ship or from the Falcon 9. Stage one landing leg deploy. And landing bird shut down. We've heard a call out, landing legs deployed, then we heard landing shut down. Uh, we don't have a very good picture, but we think we have a first stage on the drone ship. Meanwhile, second stage continues to burn, coming up on eight minutes into flight. We'll get second stage engine shut down in about half a minute, following which we'll enter a 43 stage minute coast. Terminal guidance. We've heard the call out stage two's in terminal guidance. That means we are now Doing the math, you know, for those who've Stage done two, the high AFPS guidance math, saved. they know how we're ear, we're guiding ourselves into the final orbit, and then we'll shut down the engine. See you go. We've heard the call out of Seco. And looking at GNC confirms good orbit insertion. The guidance plots we have in front of it, and we just had well, a good one. Expected. Second stage is right where we want it to be. And it also appears, although we are hoping to get a view LS back Cook from the expected. drone ship, that the first stage is on the drone ship, but there weren't any lights. So all we saw was the flicker of the engines as we shut down. Now on the fairing recovery attempt, there's no news to report right now. The fairings are slowly descending on parachutes. They won't have reached the ocean yet. We will provide a status when we come back after the coast phase, even if it is only that we don't know any results of the recovery attempt. Yeah, but as a reminder, the weather at the fairing recovery location also is significant wind shear, bad sea state. So again, this is an experimental attempt and as you've seen from our early days of learning how to recover a first stage, we're still learning how to crash a fairing out of the air. Now the plan right now is we are into a coast phase. This is going to last uh, just over 40 minutes. We're gonna come back with live commentary at T plus 50 minutes into the webcast where we'll see the second burn of the upper stage and then the deployment of the 10 Iridium Next satellites. Now for those who are following along on the Iridium 7 Spotify playlist, it's going to continue playing. It goes all the way to the end of the webcast. So there's music behind coast phase. There's music behind getting ready to deploy the satellites. I want to be free. So you can listen to that all the way through if you're logged on to Spotify and following the list. So with that, I'll be back at T plus 50 minutes to continuing following the mission of Iridium 7 on Falcon 9.